Hi, it's me Dina Amir and welcome to my channel. So for today, we're going to learn about kata perintah or command words. But before I begin for this video, I'm just going to use informal pronunciation. For those of you who still not clear yet what is informal pronunciation, please watch my number 53 video which is about confusing pronunciation. What is kata perintah? Regarding this, please also watch my please video. But this one, more details about it. So, kata perintah actually, perkataan yang bertujuan menimbulkan sesuatu tindakan. Hasil daripada sesuatu perintah, larangan atau perbintaan. So, perkataan yang bertujuan menimbulkan sesuatu tindakan. Hasil daripada sesuatu perintah, larangan atau permintaan. So, in English it means words which aim to cause an action as a result of an order, prohibition or request. So, perkataan, root word kata, words yang that bertujuan. So, tujuan is aim. So, bertujuan, verb here. Menimbulkan from the root word timbul. So, timbul is a rise of, a float. So, menimbulkan is to cause. Sesuatu, something, tindakan, action, hasil, result, daripada from or of here, sesuatu, perintah. Perintah is order. Larangan is, larang is forbid. So, larangan is prohibition. Atau or, permintaan is request. Minta is ask. Words which aim to cause an action as a result of an order, prohibition or request. Here's are the examples of melarang, meminta and menjemput. So, melarang, the root word here is larang, prohibit or forbid. It become larangan, prohibition. So, examples of prohibition or larangan or melarang is usah, usah, don't, jangan also, don't. And the second one, meminta from the root word minta, us. So, meminta, us, permintaan is request, permintaan. Example of this, harap, hope, minta, us. Tolong, help or please. And then, third one, menjemput. So, the root word is jemput. Jemput is like us. So, menjemput. Another word is like jemputan. Okay. So, sila. Example of this is sila, please. And also, jemput, us. Now, we're going to take a look one by one. So, melarang or larangan, prohibition. So, the first one is usah. Usah. Don't. I give example here. Don't you worry, said Lily to her younger brother slash sister. So, formal Malay, usah awak bimbang. Usah awak bimbang, kata Lily kepada adiknya. Usah, don't, awak, you, bimbang is worry. Kata, say, Kepada tu, adik is either younger brother or younger sister. So, adiknya, her younger brother or her younger sister. However, usaha is not really common thing to say for daily conversation. However, if people say, either they say usah for don't or tak usah also for don't. So, when you say tak usah, it's grammatically incorrect. However, that's how people use the word for conversation. But if possible, avoid it because it's wrong. Anyway, it's not that super common to say usah for daily conversation. Okay, now we have the most common word under prohibition or larangan. The word is jangan. Jangan. So, jangan is don't. So, jangan ambil barang saya. This is for Malay. In English, it means don't take my thing. So, jangan don't. Ambil is take barang thing. 
Barang saya my thing. But for speaking, we say, Jangan ambil barang saya. Jangan ambil barang saya. So, L we remove and we replace with K for speaking. Now, we move on to the next one. Meminta us or permintaan request. So, we start with the first one, harap. So, harap is hope. So, in English, is like, hope you don't forget my order. So, harap kamu tidak lupa pesanan saya. This is for Malay. Harap kamu tidak lupa pesanan saya. So, harap hope kamu you tidak lupa, don't forget my order, pesanan saya. However, for speaking, we normally say like this. Harap kamu tak lupa apa saya dah pesan. Oh, harap kamu tak lupa apa saya pesan. So, harap hope kamu you tak lupa. Instead of we say tidak, we shorten to tak. Tak lupa, don't forget, apa what? Saya I, dah from the word sudah already. Pesan is the root word of pesanan. So, pesanan and pesan actually both means order. So, hope you don't forget what I've ordered. Just the arrangement of the words, then you can determine to use the word pesanan or pesan. Apa saya pesan, okay? Harap kamu tak lupa apa saya dah pesan, oh. Harap kamu tak lupa apa saya pesan. Next, minta. So, minta is ask. Permintaan is request. So, common for Malay to say like this. Minta tuan-puan bersabar sebentar. Normally, informal event, when it's late and then people started to make noise, then the chairman will say, minta tuan-puan bersabar sebentar. So, minta us, tuan, mister, puan, missus, bersabar from the root word sabar, patient. So, sebentar is for what? So, it's like kindly ask mister and missus to be patient for a while. However, for speaking in formal event, normally people will say, minta tuan puan bersabar sekejap or Minta Tuan Puan sabar sekejap. But sometimes, in formal event also, they use this word. So, it's okay. So, instead of we say sebentar, that sounds formal to us. So, we say the word sekejap. Instead of we say bersabar, we may say that. But sometimes, people also shorten it to sabar only. Okay, that's about minta. Remember, for speaking, we add K at the back of minta. So, it become minta. Minta, minta Tuan Puan bersabar sekejap. Minta Tuan Puan sabar sekejap. So, next one, tolong. So, tolong is help or please in English. For this one, please watch my please video. So, please open the window. So, for Malay, tolong buka tingkap. Tolong buka tingkap. For speaking, tolong buka tingkap or Tolong buka tingkap. So, tolong here is please. Buka is open. Sometimes we add K at the back. So, buka. Tingkap is window. Okay, last one for this topic. Menjemput. From the root word jemput. Us. Or silaan. Okay. However, we start with the sila first. So, sila is please. So, please wait for the while. So, this one, formal Malay, sila tunggu sebentar. Sila tunggu sebentar. So, sila please tunggu wait. Sebentar is for a while. However, for speaking, we say, sila tunggu sekejap. Sila tunggu sekejap. Sebentar and sekejap actually both are in formal Malay. However, for speaking, people prefer to use the word sekejap compared to sebentar. So, Sila tunggu sekejap. Last one, jemput. Jemput, which is us. So, English, please come in. So, in Malay, you may say this is apply for both formal and also for speaking. Jemput masuk. Jemput masuk. Oh, jemputlah masuk. That's also accepted. Well, I guess that's all the topic for now. Thank you very much for watching me. And if you like my video, Please check out my Patreon page. 
so that I can have more time to make more videos. For those of you who support me through this media, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. And for those of you who's watching me right now, thank you very much. And till we meet again then. Bye.